name together. Why don't we stand to our feet and receive our choir as we go singing the song of Zion. Jerusalem. 
For it is is at course of better than a thousand. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good one. Lord, the house of the Lord show floors in the courts of our God. O oh Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. For the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. O oh, sing of the Lord a new song. For he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, and all the earth sing praises. At this time, we will have an opening hymn of praise by the choir, followed by our invocation by evangelist Andrew Smith Sr. The choral response, another selection by the choir, scripture reading by Sister Grace Yukuku, and the responsive. Good morning, Mount Zion. Our opening hymn is hymn 215. I have a message from the Lord. I have a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. The message unto you I'll give. Tis recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It's only that you look and live. And the refrain says, look and live. My brother live. Look to Jesus now and live. Tis recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It's only that you look and live. We ask that you now with uplifted voices sing with our gospel choir this morning as we continue with our opening hymn and our morning worship.
life, boy. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. If you just breathe breath in your body, 
If you just had an opportunity to allow your lungs to expand and, and, and grow and then decrease, you want to open up your mouth right here and give God some praise. Come on, Mount Zion, let's not be lazy and relaxed this morning. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And there ought to be three or four people in this house that ought to be glad in it. That hurricane could have took you, that tropical storm could have took you out. That heart attack could have took you out. That diagnosis could have came to fruition. But if it had not been for the Lord, who was on your side while you slumbered and slept all night long, he allowed the death angel to, to be moved and not your name to be called. You ought to open up your mouth and give God praise. Come on, Mount Zion, open up your mouth right here and give God Let's go into the house of the Lord. There's peace in the house. There's joy in the house. There's love in the house. You want to open up your mouth and tell somebody, I'm glad I'm in the house. Yeah. Listen, we come to have church today. I know we come to celebrate the pastor, but to celebrate the goodness of the Lord as well while we at it. There's a storm out of our church on the ocean, and it's moving, and so it can your soul now. Take it to Jesus, do a sure thing, drip the way. There's a storm, there's a storm out of the on the ocean, and it's moving.
Watch the praises start going. You just knew everything was going to be all right. Everybody clapped up. As it was then, so it is today. I don't care what you're going through. As you clap your hands, can I tell you that God is working in your house? He's working on your favor. He's working on your behalf. All you got to do is praise him and believe.
I had a heart fail. Right, God? I'm still here. Amen. Because I have faith in God. Yeah. And He got me here. Yeah. And thank you, Pastor. I thank you for all my church friends who called me and checked on me. And um, that's all I have to say. Amen. <laughs> WMS, South Carolina Conference Branch, Women's Missionary Society, Charleston Area 2024, Local Society of the Year, second place. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I would be remiss if I don't get this opportunity for remark, uh, I mean for announcement. Uh, not announced what transpired on Friday. Is Sister Ford here? I am. Sister Ford, would you please stand? On Friday, Sister Ford and many of these ladies came and they put on a wonderful time for back to school bash for the children. She did a fantastic job. We have lots of food and I mean, if you weren't there, you missed some good food. <laughs> I'm still going to the second half of it today. I'm not talking about no leg quarter. I'm talking turkey wing, I'm talking ham, I'm talking everything you can imagine. We had it all. And, 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 and oh yeah, well, look, forget them hot wings I bought from Publix. Boy, I don't know children enjoy that. But let me say, we had a fantastic time. I just want to thank Sister Ford and her committee and all those ladies who, give them a hand, please, please. And, 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 and let me say, I, I, I am so amazed at the amount of children that we have here because there were more children there than there were doubts. Amen. I'd be hasty to say there were a lot of doubts there. So we had a wonderful time and a high time in the Lord. And thank you so much again, Sister Ford, for all that you've done. By way of being our young people, IPD director. Praise the Lord. I want to add on to what you were saying. I also want to give a shout out to WMS as well as our lay organization they were the ones that were passing out the book bags and the um, the um, backpacks. So big shout out to them for being there, supporting the kids and passing out the backpacks. I want the best thing in food. Reverend John Mack. 
Reverend Mack was born on January 2nd, 1943 on Wawala Island, South Carolina, the third child of 16 children. As a graduate of Hall Gap <coughs> High School, Johns Island, South Carolina, and Allen University, Columbia, South Carolina, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree. While growing up on Wamala Island, Johnny, as he was called, was very caring, giving, and doing for others in need. Reverend Mack was no stranger to hard work and setting a financial goal. He worked on the farm eight hours a day, five days a week, earning $2 a day, and worked 12 hours on Saturday where he earned $4. He later drove a school bus for two and a half years, earning $25 a month, and twice recognized as an excellent driver two years in a row, receiving a sweet bonus of $35. Wow. <laughs> Reverend Mack also made history in his town as the first African American hired to work at P.M. King's grocery store on weekends. Reverend Mack was as a saver and from the fruits of his labor, he saved his spare change in a carnation cream can, enough to eventually purchase his first car, a 1955 Fairlane Ford for $99 cash. <laughs> he had also been a provider from a young age. He bought food, cooked, and fed all of his younger sisters and brothers. For entertainment, he took them joyriding on weekends with some of his sisters riding on the hood of the car. <laughs> when Reverend Mack wasn't having some good old country fun with his siblings, he cut wood, pumped water, and shot for the neighborhood elderly. For entertainment, Reverend Mack reserved Saturday nights to watch his favorite shows, Half Gun Will tra Travel, and Gunsmoke on the family black and white television set. <laughs> Reverend Mack married his first lady, Bertha Rivers, and is the proud father of two sons, Cedric and Marvin, and one daughter, excuse me, I said her name wrong, Shaquanda? Yes, that's right. Okay. Shaquanda Mack. Reverend Mack was called to preach in 1963 and was ordained deacon in 1968 and ordained elder in 1970 by the late Bishop William Ball Sr. So I introduce to you our speaker of the hour, Reverend John Mack. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining. Still pray as I'm on for Lord, plant my feet on high your ground. I'll say that again. I'm, I'm pressing on the upward. Way. New heights I'm gaining every, 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 every day. I'm, 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 I'm so praying as I'm on upward bound. Oh, 
Can you show us though? Amen. Amen. You're looking good. You're looking good. You're looking good. against the time to come. Yeah, yeah, then they yeah, hold yeah, yeah, eternal life. Yeah, I pray that you seek to please God with what you are trying to achieve so that he is glorified. Amen. Yeah, amen. We'll be here this morning not to glorify and praise man, but right. yeah, to praise yeah, God. Yeah, to glorify yeah, him. Yeah, yes. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. Mm -hmm. For thou <coughs> hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Yeah. Therefore, yeah. all these delight to do his will. Yeah. As the psalmist yeah. David said, I delight yeah. to his will. Yes. Oh my God. This, however, requires faith in God. Yes, sir. For without faith, it's impossible to please Him. That's right. Yeah. Tell it. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is. Amen. That He is your water. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then that diligently seek Him. In your climb to reach your God, inspired goal, never try to please man. Tell it. Again, riches in this world. That's right. Tell it. But thou, O man, flee these things. 
and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. Therefore, put God first. Whatever you do, put God first. Wherever you go, put God first. For he is first. Always put him first as the scripture commands. And seek ye first and again the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all things, not one, but all things shall be added unto you. Consider your goal as one of these things as mentioned in the scripture. And be optimistic that the Lord will grant it to you if you put him first in your life. Yes. Putting him first fires, studying his holy word. Yes. Learn of him. Yes. Applying his laws and principles to your life. Amen. Sometimes I repeat it, I want you to get it. So I repeat it. I want you to pack it in. When you put God first, he promises to make your way, make a way for you. Make your way prosperous. This book of the new law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And then thou shalt have good success. The scripture holds a blessed promise. All we need to do is to put God first in all things. Join and attracting positive conditions around us. Set aside anything that you feel to be a top priority in your life. But put God first. Yeah. When you make putting God first, when you make things possible for you without God, you will fail. Yeah. You will not succeed. And right. all that you do, put God first. Yeah. Wherever you go, put God first. Yeah. Whatever you need, yeah. God's got it. And he shall surely give you the desires of your heart. Step out on faith to reach your goal. With God, nothing shall be impossible, enabling you to do all things through. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Put God first. Yeah. When I woke up this morning, yeah. the first thing I did was to get on my knees. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Thank you because He not only has been good to me, yeah. but He is good to me. Yeah. I thank Him because He watched over me all that long. Yeah. He protected me. And Satan had a hedge around me. Yes. God drove him away. Yes. And said, in so many words, do my servant no harm. Yes. Touch not my anointing. Yes. 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 Put God first. Yes. If you put God first, yes. you will make it and yes. life. Yes. You may fall, but you're gonna. Get it. Yeah. That's right. right back up. Come That's on. Right. You may lean to the right. But you may get right. That's right. They may talk about you and call you anything. That's right. But I'm That's right. 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 Put it in front. Yeah. What you want? Yeah. God's got it. Yeah. What you need? Yeah. God's got it. That's right. But you cannot make it by yourself. Right. Put it in first in your life. Yeah. Put it in first when you go to work. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to walk with me. Yeah. Right. Talk with me. Yeah. Guide me. Right. Hold me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm
give up in this life. Yeah. Come on. Sometimes you want to stand, you stumble and fall. Yeah.
process in line, make sure that we are doing our auxiliaries appropriately from start to finish. And as each auxiliary comes up, please at that point present the members of your auxiliary as well. We are still in church, so we do want to maintain some type of order. So as the soloists come, uh, please also those that will be presenting on today, uh, remember as you come up to present that you do present your auxiliary members at that time and once the auxiliaries have presented then we will allow any members or anyone special guests that have presentations at, as well we will allot an opportunity for you to do that as well is that good are we good with that Y'all kind of dead in here now. Y'all done got the word and everything. Y'all should be full and ready. This is a 
celebration. We got to celebrate a little bit. It's all right to loosen up and have a good time. And there's nothing like a good time in the Lord. Uh, so definitely we are going to move forward. Sister Wilson, are you ready to grace us on this morning? All right, all right. Amen. Just thank God for everyone that came out today. Amen. And Pastor, I just want to say happy number two uh, anniversary. Thank you very much. And I just want you to know that I love and appreciate you. Thank you very much. And back to uh, Sunday's message, I bid you God's speed. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much. Here's to you. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days. Thank you. 
Just a small token from the trustees. We uh, appreciate your uh, birth. <coughs> I mean, really. <laughs> 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 what did you say? All right. Thank you. 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 Putting this on. 
long for me and supporting me. I thank you, every one of you, who don't have to give me a nickel. The Lord take care of me. Let me tell you something. This your presence being here today means the world to me. You understand? It means the world to me. And, and I try to be the best pastor that I can, but you're not ever going to be all things for everybody. But I always say to you, if there's something that, that, that I'm not doing right or something that offends, please let me know. I, I, I'm a person to person kind of person. You know, I speak to you one on one. And I'd like to know what it is that I can do better to be a pastor. So if it's the Lord will and I come back, like I say, I'll get some more love. Old preacher told me a long time ago, a uh, retired pastor, he said, let me tell you something. Uh, it was Reverend Carter, Reverend Mack. You know Reverend Carter who retired. He said, Virgin, let me tell you something. You go to the church, you better decide your blood. This year, friend will be next year enemy, and next year enemy will be your that year friend. <laughs> I said, you sure, Reverend Carter? I ain't going to tell you about testing. I don't, I'm not going to tell you about that. That's not that logic or not. I want to be Amy's friend because Jesus is our friend. And, that, and as the church school lesson says today, Christ's love ought to be the root. Isn't that right? That's to say that all of us want to be Christ-like. That's not our personality. That's our character and our characteristic. It's not how we see ourselves so beautiful as we always are in the mirror. What matters is how other people see and hear you. Can't be a Sunday just on uh, be a Christian just on Sunday. You gotta be a Christian in Walmart, Macy's, in the park, in the dark. You gotta be a Christian. Isn't that right? And if you can't be, you at least be strive. You know what I always say. If, if you've been on a half a gallon, you ought to be at least on a quart by now. That means you're trying. The Lord will help you. So I, I, I want to thank you, Jehovah. But like I said, I'm so glad. To, uh, to, to, I'm, I'm sorry, Mount Zion. I'm sorry, Mount Jehovah. At least I got somebody in here for you. Mount Zion, I love you guys. I thank you so much for all the support that you have given. And this storyboard, awesome storyboard, keeps me on, keeps me in tune, and keeps me moving forward. I wouldn't be able to move forward if it wasn't for the storyboard. I can tell you that right now. And the trustee board, the reason I wanted Brother Palmer to say something, because Brother Palmer, since I've been there, been a man working so hard in this church, and he's a senior trustee. And he works very, very hard. So I want you to know, my son, I love you guys so much. And I'm going to keep on preaching the gospel. I want you to pray my strength in the Lord. And I will continue to pray your strength in the Lord. I don't want to be remiss. I, I, I cannot begin to thank Reverend Joshua uh, and Evangelist Smith, but more particularly Reverend Joshua, so much for what you have done by way of supporting and helping me so much. Even the other day, the first almost fall I had since I've been up the hospital. I was listening to my faithful uh, preacher, uh, uh, elder, Reverend Joshua. Now, Pastor, you did kind of flip me. Let me help you down here. Now, I know I should have put my hand on that ring as I always <laughs> I reached for her arm. Boy, when I reached and stepped down, he did my right leg on the wall and stepped, and I started falling. I know, Brother Joshua, your wife was so strong. She <laughs> never let me see. Athletic, she played this, she played that, she run track. <laughs> he told me he don't think she gonna play with him either. He said, Here's the practice at home. I ain't even say that. He told to her, she's a wonderful woman. We did her, she's a wonderful, wonderful woman. But I thank her, and I thank you guys this spirit as well for what he's done. We're gonna engage him for the ministry, and if the Lord will, if the Lord will, and the bishop will, the bishop will pay send me back. I'm gonna come back and try to be a Try harder to be a better pastor, okay? Pray my strength in the Lord and let us pray together. We're going to intend to get back to our Bible studies uh, as soon as possible. But I'm enjoying myself here. Like I say, you can't make me upset. I don't care what the people say or what they say about you. I, when I see you, I see my love. I see my memory. I ain't, I ain't got no bad things to say about you. I've been a pastor long enough. They always think they're going to say something good and they're going to say something bad. They're going to say it. And Sister Jenkins knows this old cliche. Old folks say, if you can't say nothing good, don't say nothing good. See, all y'all know, y'all need to know. Thank y'all so much. God bless you. Thank you so much for your support. I love you all. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'm going to keep on loving you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope I have not been remiss and forgotten anybody. Of course, 
uh, my sister was Ford and, 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 and Kay and, and Brother Reed, our uh, uh, musical department. We want to thank them so much for their support and what they do so much in here because when I first got here, I thought something was wrong with the Evangelist Ford. What did My sister was Ford. Right. Because I said to myself, that boy you over there, he preaching more than me. I'm here, come on with me. He ain't never going to stop singing, so I can preach. <laughs>
we ask a special blessing upon the hands of the food that has been provided for the nourishment of our bodies, for physical strength, sustain us from time to time. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.